All right, let's look at the homework for tonight, which is uh, number line puzzles. And this is for Bridges Math, fourth grade. And we're gonna just take a look at the first page. And I think these number lines here, you can figure out how it works on your own. The multiplication fact is on top, like two times four. And then that would be eight which goes below. But as you do this, use the number line to help you figure these out. So for example, um, I'm counting by fours here. So four by four is 16. But to go from times four to times eight, you can simply just double this number. So use that to help you. So if I double 16, I'm getting 32. And then here I know that um, 10 times 4 is 40, so that would be 10. <clears throat> and then if I go 4 less, that would be this. So 40 minus 4 would give me that. Or you could do 32 plus 4. But use the other facts to help you figure out um, the answers. And same with B. And then same idea with number 2, but I don't think you need any help with that. So let's take a look at some of these other ones. So Roger's little brother, Saul, wants to know uh, if 5 times 7 is equal to 7 times 5. If you are Roger, how would you explain to Saul whether the equation is true? So really, you can just draw some kind of a picture to show that it's true or make some kind of a diagram to show it's true. For example, if you want to use the number line, uh, this won't be exactly uh, perfect looking, but you could just show... Okay, if I count by fives, and then if I count by sevens, five times, and again, it's not going to look perfect. Those are not equal, but you can kind of just show roughly, or you could do it um, another way. So you could put, um, let's see, you could show... 5 plus 5 plus 5 and so on over here over here you could do 7 um, you could draw a picture you could do it however you want but just show that those two are the same uh, 5 times 7 and 7 times 5 and then we'll take a look at the back side where we have some more <clears throat> kind of problems here so each of the 29 students in Mrs. Brown's fourth grade brought two notebooks to class the first day of school how many notebooks was that in all? Show your thinking with numbers, sketches, or words. Then write an equation that represents your work. And I might actually do the equation first just to help me out. So we'll have 29 students. And there are two notebooks per student. So that's 29 times 2. And then what is the answer to that? And I can do that in my head, actually. Um... But the important thing is that you show your thinking with numbers, sketches, or words. So I'm going to show you how I figured out the number 58, because that's what I want to see for your thinking. And what I did for that is I was thinking that for me it's easier to do 30 times 2. So I actually thought like this. I was like, okay, 30 and then times 2 would be 60. And then I actually went backwards by 2 to get 58. So that was one way that you could think about it. Um, maybe there are people who do it a different way. So let me show you some other examples of how you can show your thinking <clears throat> for 29 times 2. Uh, you don't always have to use a number line, but that's one way to do it. So um, I also might think 29 breaks into 25 and 4 because 25 is a pretty um, easy number to work with so you could go 25 and then 50 and then you just go 4 twice so 54 58 that would be another way to think about it um, <clears throat> or maybe you broke it into 20 and 9 and you had 20 plus 20 9 plus 9 and that would give you numbers however you thought about it write about that here because everyone thinks about it different there's probably <clears throat> half a dozen different ways to think about that problem 
And then finally, uh, for your answer, just make sure you have your unit. So we have 58, but 58 what? What are we talking about for the unit? And let's see, the next one, I'm going to have you try that on your own. Basically, which one of these three answers is this saying? So just think about it a little bit and uh, try your best with that. And now we'll talk about the challenge um, a little bit. And again, challenges are good for everyone to try. If you can't figure it out, it's okay, but just at least give it a try. And again, the most important thing is that we show our thinking with numbers, sketches, or words. So make sure we're doing that. Okay, what do we have here? Five students each brought in eight boxes with 10 pencils per box. So five students, they each had eight boxes. Let me just do one student. So one student brought in eight boxes, or they all brought in eight boxes, and each of those boxes had 10 pencils in it. So that's going to be basically 80 per student, right? 10 times 8 is 80. So every one of these students has 80. So you don't need to draw 8 boxes for everybody, but we know 5 students and that's 80 pencils per student. That's the first part. The second part is 10 students each brought in eight boxes with five pencils per box. So now, okay, over here we have 10 students now, and those 10 students still brought in the same number of boxes, eight boxes. And I'm not gonna draw eight boxes for everyone, but each of these boxes had five pencils per box, so they all had five. So each of these students seems had um, eight times five, Pencils. So how many pencils is that? Well, they each had 40 pencils. So again, this is a challenge, so that you might not even know how to write this as an equation, but you're going to put a plus, and we're going to do another part of the equation here, which will be, what is this, 10 times 40, and that will equal what? So I would break it down and say, okay, 10 times 40 is that much, then how much is... 5 times 80, then you add them together, and you have your answer for that. So, okay, this was a little bit longer than some of the other homeworks. This is our first time to do Bridges homework, two sides, but thank you for um, sticking with the video, and have a good day or evening. Bye.